A pro-life group has launched a legal challenge against women being allowed to take an abortion pill at home. Scotland's chief medical officer announced last year patients would be able to take mesoprostol, the second drug needed for a termination, away from a clinic. The case began at the court of session today and Gordon Cree is there. John, abortion used to be reserved to Westminster, but in the last couple of years it's been devolved to the Scottish Parliament and that has brought about a significant change. What's known as a medical abortion involves taking two pills and the combined effect of them causes the termination. Now, in the past, they both had to be taken in a hospital or clinic, but the recent guidance from the government allows doctors to give the second pill away to be taken by women at home. Pro-life groups say that's unlawful. We've looked at the 1967 Abortion Act, and it doesn't give the powers that have been used to allow women to take the pill at home. So we believe that it needs to be a, an abortion carried out by a medical professional. That's not happening. And it needs to take place in a, uh, in a place that's approved by ministers uh, to be safe. And that's not, that's not what's happening under these guidance. Now, taking misoprostol at home is already allowed in several other countries, including France and the United States. Scotland's the first part of the UK to introduce this. It's a measure that pro-choice groups had been pushing for. They say that often women have had heavy bleeding on the way home from clinics after having the second pill there. So doing it this way gives them more dignity. The stories that we have from women include a woman who's had to book a hotel room because she's been unable to carry on uh, in the pain that she was in the car, a woman that said that she projectile vomited out of the window of a taxi and was worried that if she threw up in the taxi, the taxi would stop and kick her out. So they are stories that make they, they have a real impact on women's lives. Now, this hearing is expected to continue tomorrow and conclude tomorrow. The judge, Lady Wise, will issue her decision at a later date. We asked the chief medical officer for an interview on this today, but her office said she was unable to comment on an ongoing case.